hi guys welcome back to another video in today's quick video we are just going to see how we can create a forex robot that we can use to uh, close bulk trades either they are winning trades or they are losing trades but you just want to get rid of all the trades that you are no longer uh, wanting to be uh, running in the markets whether they are winning or they are losing so this will be the robot that we are going to be creating i'm just going to drag and drop onto my chart there so basically of course you allow live trading and allow dll imports because we are using the free fx uh, dreamer uh, subscription uh, this is going to be an mt4 robot uh, the code that you can download the link will be in the description box below if you want to download it for yourself so for yourself to use by yourself to test it out and so the code that you're going to download is for MetaTrader 4. It's important uh, for you to understand that, but you can simply follow the uh, steps as well for MetaTrader 5. But in any case, so the MQ4 uh, file will be in the link in the description box below. If you want to download it, then you can upload it to your own FX streamer and play along with it. Okay. So uh, we we enable that and we say okay that's basically what we want uh, basically we the robot will print two uh, buttons there uh, close or winning trades close or losing trades and of course if uh, this was a live market you would enable auto trading but it's a weekend today it's a sunday so uh, no need to do that because uh, you can see the market is not moving so uh, we're just waiting but uh we are making the video in any case somebody wants to learn this new skill so when we delete the robot also we want it uh, we want the buttons to not remain on our chart so that's another important thing that you want to be uh, paying attention as we make the robot so we are just going to remove notice that the buttons will disappear it's a good uh, it's something that you need to note so remove the buttons disappear so how do we make this robot okay so uh, now i'm in my fx streamer platform again i'm on a free subscription i'm on a free subscription uh you can do this in metatrader 5 if you have paid for the subscription but uh, for me the free subscription is good enough so yeah that's why i usually use the um free subscription uh, you notice that today we are not on the on tick section we are not on the on tick section where we usually add in and create our robots so we are not on the on tick section but i'm starting on the on init section what's this section on init section it's basically initialization on initialization so you're basically saying to the robot this is what i want you to do the moment i drag and drop the robot onto my chart this is what i want it to do so pay attention to that now on on it what we want to do uh, what we want the robot to do is we want it to this is where you come to this section that says a chart and object we want the robot to draw buttons two buttons so that will be the first button and that will be the second button and we're just going to link them together again if you want to download the file uh, from here um, the link will be in the description box below if you feel like uh, maybe i don't want to learn this but i ad advise that you learn this so that you are able to do these things by yourself without relying on anybody so draw button draw button with two buttons uh for ourselves now we double click double click and go in there now in here you can actually set what uh, uh some conditions some uh, like properties for the buttons so uh here we're just going to name this button button one button my spelling sorry button one and this is x and y distance basically what it is Let's see if we can go back to our MetaTrader 4. And do this again. 
so the x and y uh, values they determine how far the button will be from the top border and from this edge here so now i'm confused uh, oh, which one is the x which one is the y is the y from the top or and the x from the uh, from the side or which one is uh, uh, you figure it out i do not make this uh, video any long i just i just said a brain freeze there. but you get the point uh, what we are talking about when we are talking about the y and uh the x and y uh distance so you put in basically whatever values you want and it's important it's important it's going to be important that when you actually make the same uh y and uh, x and y uh, distance values on the second button they need to be way more than this so that the buttons are not on top of each other when you eventually put the robot onto your chart okay so uh, that will be uh, that uh, some simple text uh, I don't know what you want uh, to say uh, let's say close oh winners Okay, then font size here. You can determine the font size that you want for uh, the for the buttons as well as the width and height of the buttons. So almost I'm trying to rush through so that I don't make the video uh, too long. But basically, you can play along with all these values. How how many pixels do you want on the button? Do you want uh, a, a a long button like that, or do you want a small button like that? But then you make sure that the text can fit in that small button or maybe you want a button like that that's what we are talking about height and width uh, here then font size obviously it's going to depend on the size of the button that you're going to be uh, creating there then of course background color that will be uh, if you noticed in my example there the background color is actually yellow is uh, my yellow there's so much to choose from where's my yellow where's my yellow okay we just go a uh, yellow green in this example for now and the border color if you noticed in my uh, example there it's actually maroon so we just uh, keep it uh, maroon then here uh, the button uh, corner where do you want the corner the buttons to appear which corner do you want the buttons to appear if you go back to our uh, meta trader 4 here they are in the top left corner this will be the bottom left corner this will be the top right corner this will be the bottom right corner so you decide which uh, corner you want the buttons to appear on and the x and y distances will be calculated from which corner you say you want the buttons to appear so straightforward then uh state not pressed will leave it uh like that then we update and we go double click again on the uh, second one and we just call it uh button two and maybe here we make this uh that one was 50 make, maybe we make this what 100 but again if you want the uh, um, um, mq4 file that i've already worked on uh, the link to download that is already in the description box below and then uh, we say close all losers then again you go through the same stuff that we went through here determine uh, the uh, the the background color that you want uh maybe some pink if you want to swap things uh, a bit some purple there and here i think we left it at left uh, upper corner ne? so we just uh leave it uh at that you don't want one button to appear in this corner 
and another button is appearing in that corner but if you want something like that well you, you go ahead and again set this to be uh, a right lower or whatever right upper uh, with right upper maybe right upper there but now understand that your button is going to the first button is going to appear in this corner and the other one is going to appear in this corner for me that uh that is not proper so that i just want to have my patterns uh, one on top of what of each other and then we update then what we're going to do is we're going to come to this section that says on a chart so what's going to happen on our chart now we have a new section there so we are going to have the first block there i'm going to try and start uh, moving fast so that we don't make this video any longer than it should so we are going to have uh, these two uh, blocks here and we're going to double click in there now uh, we are going to filter out by object names what do we want to happen so we have button one button one so it's important that uh you don't mess the spellings here the the first button that we have make sure that it does say button one whereas what however it looks here maybe just uh what you want to do maybe is just to copy here but with the 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 important thing is however it appears here is how you are going to use it there otherwise the things are not going to be able to commit to get to one another so that's uh, how we have uh, written it so basically that's how we have written it so we update and here we come here and we say filter by object names we're going to say button 2 and update just making sure that it does say yes it looks the same it looks the same and we close that and we go back now what do we want to do when a mouse is clicked on button one and a mouse is clicked on button two what we want is button one is going to close all winning trades that's what we set so we're going to minimize that and we're going to go to trade actions and we're going to say close profitable trades we're going to link it like that you can just double click in there to just uh, uh check but basically we are going to try you can go through here and basically uh, just uh, uh all you can basically basically decide on the properties that you want on this so we are just going to not mess with a lot of things here we're just going to keep this all, all automated uh, and manually opened uh, trades all of them uh, the moment we decide to click on here uh, every profitable trader whether, whether it was automated or whether it was manually opened we're just going to what we're just going to close it whether it was a buy or a sell and we're going to what and we're going to update and we're going to do uh, the same here but not for profitable trades we're going to say all losses here we're going to close all losses and we're going to link it like that and we're going to double click again uh, you can say like that and yeah basically uh, the same now the last thing the last thing we well, are almost done the last thing that you want to do is to go to here you see this is on on the init which is opposite of on init so this is where you tell the robot to what to get rid of the buttons when it's taken off what when somebody removes the robot from their chat this is where you say delete those buttons so we just go here and to use here we are just going to uh, use this pass block 